Hello and welcome. In this SEO video tutorial session, I'm going to show you how to quickly rank your web page. Let's get right into it. Let's close this and let's take a look at this slide here. Now, let's imagine this is your web page. Therefore, you need to kind of understand the importance of the name of your page, importance of your title, and also your description, your heading tags, which are H1 and H2, and also content, which is text and images in this example. Okay? So let's open up Firefox and I'm going to take you through it and show you how to go about it. Now, when I say how to quickly rank your web page, what I mean is, you know, you first do a bit of research as to the keywords that you want to rank right and to to see quick results what you should be looking for is um, long tail keywords what that means is keywords that are made up of uh, you know two three four words or even five words long and how you do that is you do that you know by a bit of keyword research you know I've got a tutorial in another video session that you can watch okay just you know understand the the, the, the keyword side of things right and once you do that, surely then, you know, whether you have your web page or whether you have your blog, it's still a web page, right? So then you start going into Google search box and start typing in um, the keywords that you're interested in, okay? And in this example, we've taken, you know, how to rank your, um, see, as you see, as soon as I type this in, okay, you know, website or let's say web page, let's say okay and as you can see it's given me these ideas right so therefore I want to choose the longer tail keywords here but what the trick that you can do is you can say a or you can say B you can say C and so on to to gain that insight right so we want to you know target in this example um, how to rank your web page you know um, yeah let's say in Google see and there you go. See, you have these ideas then, right? So you just then choose one that is related to your online industry, right? Let's choose this. Let's have a look what it's bringing us. Okay, here what you need to be looking at is all these ranking pages, okay? And what you should be looking at is their title here. And also, you know, are they using those keywords in the, in the URL itself, right? And as soon as you glimpse at that, you think to yourself, all right, you know what? This title is actually, is not this per se, right? It has m meaning, you know, it has how to improve, okay, those keywords in it. Therefore, it just basically doesn't target that specifically, this keyword specifically. And also, here, let's have a look. I can also see um, in the URL, as you can see down the bottom of the screen, the, the keywords are not in the URL either, right? So therefore, once you start looking at that, you think to yourself, you know what? This particular long tail keyword seems important for me to rank, right? You know, in a sense, like it will be quick to rank because these people, although they're ranking, they haven't got the, 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 the important parts in place, right? So therefore, once you figure that out, you think to yourself, all right, then, you know, I've got um, WordPress for this tutorial for you, just to give you an idea. This is a content management system. You may be using Joomla or any other content management system or um, static HTML files. Makes no difference because um, once it's published, the web page is a web page, right? So let's then say, you know, I've also taken this just to show you because I went ahead and, and actually um, targeted this particular keyword to rank in Google very quickly, right? So when I say title, this is what I mean, okay? Title is what you put in there, okay? So your title needs to be whatever the keywords that you're targeting, right? So next part comes in as to the, the URL here. You see this URL here? okay so the keywords in URL are important for you okay so then then your um, your um, content what that means is all the text 
and images you put in there, right? So, you know, the trick is to include these keywords um, perhaps, you know, once in this order and then on your content um, you simply, you know, sprinkle those keywords, okay? These are heading tags which are heading to. As you can see, I'm mentioning those particular keywords in here, right? See? Okay? So you simply, you know, sprinkle your keywords that you're targeting in your copy it's also intelligent for you to you know have an image and when you have an image you know I've, I've got tutorials as to how to name your images for SEO and so on um, you know let's get this video short meaning simply go ahead and watch the, the, the videos I made available for you as far as naming your images for SEO purposes and so on right so having an image is also intelligent you know, it, it's rather a little bit better user experience rather than just having text and so on. And also, um, let's say, let's have a look at the text here to, to see how I name that particular image and I've put the alt tag as such, okay? But, you know, as you can see, it's not kind of spamming, right? Um, so simply just watch the video I made available for naming your images. So what happens then you simply then what you do is um, you know your keywords meta keyword tag you simply sprinkle bit of um, keywords that you're targeting right so let's have a look at this particular um, published web page okay so as you can see here look how I went about including those keywords I'm targeting in the URL itself right so let's have a look at the source code um, please bear with me let me open this up as such okay what have we got here we've got the title I named the title with those keywords in it description um, description in this sense um, has the keywords that I'm targeting in it as well we don't kind of really have to worry about the meta keyword tags for um, Google rankings okay so therefore you can simply ignore them but description is very important okay the name as I've shown you here page name title has to be whatever the keyword that you're targeting okay it has to be that description you need to mention those keywords in it as well it's only intelligible but you do so um, you know logically right you don't just keyword spam as in keyword after keyword and so on it has to talk about the content on the page therefore if I'm making a blog post you know talking about this surely the content is going to talk about that right so what have we got then what are we what are we looking at next heading tags is it let's have a look description here yeah, we've got that out of the way let's have a look at heading tags here um, let's say okay we've got h1 here okay as you can see I've got um, additional keywords in it right it's only intelligent to go along those lines too okay so heading two let's have a look yes heading two it starts with those keywords no problems um, you, the way that you place your heading tags it has to be you know if your content is kind of long so it's not thin content then it will give you an option to place heading tags in your content right so that's the whole idea therefore once again simply page name the keywords in the the page name keywords in the title keywords in your description heading tags including the, your, your targeted keywords content you know sprinkle you know you don't want to break your copy meaning you don't want to keywords you know stuff your web pages you simply talk about whatever the blog post or web page that you created right and also your images become important as well so what have we got here once again this video tutorial is about how to rank your website in Google quickly okay and that's how you go about it simply identify the targeted keywords as in keywords that you want to target they need to be rather a little bit long to see quick results okay so after that you simply you know create a web page um, having what I've shown you in place as I've shown you before so let's have a look at this 
Um, I've created one um, post targeting this particular keyword, right? Let's have a look at Google. I'll show you now. Okay, should I use um, relevance no follow attribute? Let's have a look. Look, I'm here. First page, right? I haven't even done off-site SEO yet, okay? So simple. There you go. You may say, well, that's been, you know, published uh, perhaps a month ago, but let's have a look at this particular one. I published this, what, um, as you can see here, August 4th. Let's search. Google, where am I? Third position. See? That's how you do it. The date today is 6th, and it's just became 6th, right? So, you look at it, simple, have things in place as I've shown you, create a post, but make sure it's like useful to your readers, right? It's not just about ranking, because at the end of the day, your aim is not just for ranking, your aim is to provide useful information to your visitors. As I've shown you in other video tutorials, it's all about answering the questions of your visitors. That's the whole game here. You know, that's what SEO is is based on really okay so you can simply um, check out my other video tutorials that I made available for you and check back soon because I will show you much more useful information that you're really gonna see great results from I thank you very much I'll talk to you very soon thank you bye bye